According to the Akashic Records, what is the spiritual truth of borderline personality disorder? From the Akashic and spiritual perspective, borderline personality disorder, or BPD, is often understood not just as a clinical or neurological condition, but as a soul-level wound, a deep fragmentation of identity rooted in earlier lifetimes, soul contracts, and energetic imprints. Here is a breakdown of its spiritual origin and meaning. At its root, BPD often stems from soul fragmentation, where a being, due to intense trauma in past lives or early this life, has disconnected from core aspects of their spiritual identity. This leads to a fragile sense of self, intense fear of abandonment, swinging emotional states, and the inability to stabilize relationships or emotions. Energetically, it's as if the person's aura or light body is trying to hold itself together while processing unresolved pain across timelines. Many individuals with BPD carry a primary abandonment wound, a karmic contract rooted in one or more lifetimes where betrayal, rejection, or loss of love left a soul mark. This often creates hypervigilance toward rejection, idealization and devaluation cycles in relationships and a desperate need for reassurance and validation these wounds are invitations for soul level integration and reclamation of self-worth bpd souls are often extremely sensitive and empathic but without proper energetic boundaries this leads to emotional dysregulation due to absorbing others emotions a chaotic inner world from psychic overload and difficulty knowing where they end and others begin. This sensitivity is not a weakness, but a soul gift that must be spiritually matured. On a higher level, BPD may arise in souls who have incarnated to heal collective emotional trauma. These are often advanced, brave beings who take on the task of transmuting emotional chaos into clarity, teaching others empathy, presence, and emotional literacy, and rebuilding the energetic architecture of self-love and wholeness their healing is not just for themselves it ripples across timelines and generations from a spiritual lens healing borderline patterns involves energetic clearing of past life trauma and ancestral grief reclaiming soul fragments through trauma resolution and deep inner child work daily grounding practices like meditation breath work and somatic awareness and rebuilding the divine feminine and masculine inner union Above all, healing arises through unconditional self-acceptance and spiritual remembrance. All right, according to the Akashic Records, what is the spiritual truth of bipolar disorder? From the Akashic Records perspective, bipolar disorder is understood not just as a mental health condition, but as a deep soul level initiation, one that holds both challenges and sacred potential. The spiritual truth of bipolar disorder one, soul contract of polarity integration. Bipolar disorder often reflects a soul path dedicated to mastering and integrating extremes, light and shadow, ecstasy and despair, expansion and contraction. The highs and lows are not random, but are spiritual archetypal energies that the soul came to experience, navigate and harmonize. Two, emotional dimensional access. Many who experience bipolarity have access to expanded emotional bandwidths from divine elation to cosmic despair. Uh, spiritually, this range can be seen as the soul's attempt to touch multiple dimensions of consciousness, often without grounding tools in place. Three, unstable energy channels. Energetically, bipolar shifts can occur when the crown, third eye, and heart chakras are overactivated, while the root and sacral chakras are undersupported. This leads to an excess of celestial or mental input with little embodiment, causing emotional and energetic instability for the creative mystic wound many with bipolar traits are old souls mystics or artists often carrying the wound of separation from source more acutely their manic states may reflect soul memory of divine connection and depressive states the perceived fall into density and disconnection five invitation to master the middle path this condition can be a spiritual teacher calling the person to cultivate presence embodiment and emotional regulation rather than suppress the spectrum the journey is not to fix the soul but to learn the sacred dance between opposites spiritual healing keys grounding practices like nature breath work and somatic movement to root divine energy in the body creative expression as a safe outlet for cosmic downloads community support to witness and normalize the experience without pathologizing it energetic clearing and chakra balancing 
integration therapy, spiritual, emotional, and psychological for both inner child and higher self. Bipolarity is not a punishment. It is a spiritual call to balance multidimensional perception with human presence. For many, it's the very path that leads to deep soul mastery and service as a bridge between worlds. According to the Akashic Records, what is the spiritual truth of multiple personality disorder? From a spiritual and Akashic Records perspective, what is often termed multiple personality disorder, now known clinically as dissociative identity disorder, or DID, can be seen not as a dysfunction, but as a complex spiritual and energetic phenomenon rooted in soul fragmentation, protection, and multidimensional consciousness. Here is the spiritual truth behind DED through the lens of the Akasha, a response to soul level trauma. At its core, DAD is often the soul's adaptive response to severe trauma, particularly in early childhood. From an energetic standpoint, when a soul experiences a trauma too intense to process, aspects of the consciousness may fragment and separate into distinct identity streams. These are not separate souls, but rather partitions within the same soul, each holding a specific set of memories, emotions, or roles that helped the being survive. In spiritual terms, this is a form of protective dimensional splitting. Fragments are not flaws, they are guardians. Each identity or altar may be seen as a guardian of a certain emotional layer, some holding pain, others embodying joy or anger, or acting as buffers to overwhelming memory. These personalities are not random. They represent archetypal energies or spiritual contracts that came into play to maintain the continuity of life. In some cases, these altars may even be influenced by ancestral energies, past life echoes or walk-in vibrations, the soul's multidimensionality revealed. From the Akashic perspective, all beings are already multidimensional, accessing different identities in dreams, parallel timelines, or soul-level missions. In DID, what is usually hidden becomes lived in real time, like channels opening up to different rooms of the same house, each with a different atmosphere. This doesn't mean the person is broken. It means they are living out loud what others may only access subconsciously. The path to integration is not elimination. Spiritual healing of DID is not about getting rid of altars. It is about compassionate integration. This involves acknowledging each identity with respect, creating a sacred inner container for communication, and uniting fragmented aspects through love, presence, and energetic coherence. The soul naturally seeks wholeness. The more the inner world feels safe, the more the parts move from isolation to unity. These individuals often hold soul contracts as healers. Many with DID have come into this lifetime with intense missions of healing, shadow integration, and embodiment of multi-soul consciousness. They are often very old souls who chose this path to understand the terrain of inner fragmentation so they can help others remember how to come home to themselves. Okay, so when people have multiple personality disorder and they have different abilities and allergies, between the identities, what is happening on a spiritual level and on a genetic level? When a person with dissociative identity disorder, formerly known as multiple personality disorder, shows different illnesses, allergies, or even abilities that vary between identities, it challenges traditional views of the mind-body connection. Here's what is believed to be happening, both scientifically and from a spiritual or Akashic perspective scientific, genetic, and neurological perspective. One, gene expression or epigenetics. While your DNA sequence stays the same across identities, gene expression, how genes are turned on or off can vary. Um, this is due to epigenetic regulation influenced by hormones, emotions, and environment. So like a specific identity may trigger the body to express different proteins, enzymes, or immune responses, allowing for things like allergies or physical traits to appear or disappear. Two, autonomic nervous system shifts. Different identities often operate under unique physiological states. Some may activate the sympathetic nervous system, fight or flight, while others access parasympathetic states rest and digest, affecting everything from digestion to heart rate and even immune response. Three, neuroplasticity. The brain can rewire itself depending on belief and repetition. In DID, each identity may create its own unique neural pattern, memory structure, and perception. This neuroplasticity may result in physiological changes tied to those patterns. Four, immune modulation. Studies show that immune system responses such as allergic reactions or even 
chronic illness flare-ups can vary between identities. Uh, this suggests that psychological states can significantly influence immune regulation. Akashic and spiritual perspective. One, multidimensional soul facets. Uh, in the Akashic view, a soul is a multidimensional being with many facets or timelines. Day D can be an expression of different soul aspects coming through a single body. Each identity may carry cellular memories, karma, or energetic codes from other lifetimes or soul fragments. Two, energetic encoding and morphic fields. Each personality may tap into a unique morphic resonance field, a memory field that shapes how biology and consciousness express. These fields can influence everything from posture to physical health to emotional tendencies. Three, soul contracts and trauma portals. The split of identities is often linked to trauma, in the Akashic view, such trauma can open up portals to soul fragments or parallel incarnations that begin to walk in to help the person process overwhelming experiences. Each of these fragments may have distinct energy signatures that influence the body differently. For quantum embodiment, consciousness isn't confined to the brain. Um, when one identity steps forward, it's like a different frequency logs into the body and the quantum blueprint adjusts to match that identity's energetic template, including its illnesses, gifts, and traits. In summary, at the genetic level, changes are not in the DNA itself, but in how it's expressed. Identity shifts can influence gene expression, nervous system regulation, immune function, and neural architecture. Spiritually, each personality may embody a distinct facet of the soul or parallel life, carrying its own karmic lessons, talents, and energetic imprints that temporarily reshape the physical body.